How to get into quant finance. The TLDR on quant finance is that quant finance is basically using mathematics and large data sets to analyze financial markets and securities. It's a career commonly pursued by mathematicians, statisticians, and those with computer science backgrounds for one main reason. Quants make bank. With starting salaries from 200000 to quants making millions of dollars each year, it's definitely one of the most lucrative careers out there. But now the question comes, how does little old Joe Schmo supposed to get into this niche field? Well, here's a crash course on the world of quants. All right, starting off, we're going to go over the types of quants so you have a better picture of the quant space. First off, we have quant traders. Hi, I'm a trader. And quant traders use algorithms to make split second trades. They focus on speed and strategy and have a very strong foundation in mathematics. Next up, we have quant researchers. Hey, I'm a quant researcher. Quant researchers are the ones that actually develop the models using data and statistics to predict market trends. They typically have PhDs, although this is not required. Next up, quant developers. Yo, I'm a quant developer. Now, quant developers are the ones that build the tech behind the training system. They are the coders who make it all work. They have strong computer science foundations in Python, C++, and sometimes languages like OCaml, which is popular in Jane Street. Fourth, we have risk quants. What's up, guys? I'm a risk quant. Risk quants assess potential financial risk, helping firms avoid losses with precise risk models. And lastly, we have algorithmic quants. Sup, homies? I'm an algorithmic quant. These quants create the algorithms used for automated trading, optimizing strategies to beat the market. There's many more, but this is the basic foundations of the types of quants. Regardless of the type of quant role you choose to pursue, you're going to have to have a strong foundation in mathematics. Why? Because you need to be able to evaluate risk and more importantly, all quant firms will ask math related questions in their interviews to deduce your reasoning and problem solving skills. Mathematics is directly related to whether you land a quant role or not. In general, you want to be comfortable with linear algebra, calculus, probability and statistics, and optimization problems. Luckily, there's great resources online such as Khan Academy and free university courses from MIT, Princeton, and Harvard breaking down these difficult topics. One of my favorites is Harvard's Stat 110 course, which is an introduction to statistics. Now, apart from learning, it's also important to showcase your skills in math competitions such as math olympiads and even code forces to show your problem-solving skills in the coding interview. Furthermore, using sites like QuantQuestions.io can get you access to the exact questions asked by top quant firms such as HRT, Citadel, and IMC. From there, you can get a better sense of the interview and land a quant role. And along with that, there's also a great Discord community on QuantQuestions.io, so definitely check that out. Now, as a short break, a crazy example of the interesting work quants are doing in the space is satellite imagery of oil tanks around the world. Now, Quant wanted to figure out what is going to be the price of oil before everyone else knows. They realized with satellite imagery, they could measure the shadow of each oil tank. If an oil tank has more oil, it will be taller, and if it has less oil, it will be shorter. And using this data, they are able to predict the price of oil before it's public and trade oil based on regions when supplies are low or high. On to our next major topic of coding. Although not all quant fields require a coding background, it's getting more and more common to be needing some coding experiences to land these jobs. As programs and data dictate most of our trades, it's a valuable skill for every single quant. In terms of coding languages, there are a lot of languages to get into, such as the OCaml language used by Jane Street or the Q programming language used by Citadel. However, we'll recommend it's best to focus on the most commonly used languages as there'll be more resources for you to pull from when learning. Python, C++, and R are definitely the most common languages recommended for their processing speed and their use in data manipulation and analysis. Although Python isn't as fast as C++ or R, it's really good in data manipulation and analysis and quickly throwing up a program. You want to learn the programming basics from any course such as Harvard's free CS course, and it's a good idea to specialize in data-centered fields such as data science and machine learning. For quant developers, there's also great projects you can make and implement yourself, such as training models and profitable trading programs. Another idea is making a Black-Scholes model 
I'm going to link a video by Coding Jesus in the description that breaks down the Black Trolls model project that you can throw onto your resume. Now, onto the stories of one of the most infamous traders, the vendor Singh Saro. He was frustrated that the new high frequency trading bots were dampening his own profits, so he made his own trading program that caused the 2010 US stock and future market crash and profited him over $50 million. This was called the flash crash, and the idea was he'd basically spoof sell orders, which would knock down a trillion dollars of values of American companies in a matter of minutes. Now, onto our next major topic of financial theory and econometrics. Considering how you'll be dealing with financial markets daily, all quants need to get at least a basic understanding of the field. Topics such as asset derivative pricing, capital asset pricing models, puts, calls, options, futures, risk management, the types of risk, and common financial models are all essentials you'll need to know. Furthermore, econometrics covers essential tools for analyzing economic data. Topics such as regression, time series, panel data analysis, volatility modeling, and co-integration are also things you should learn. However, don't be scared. You can learn all of this on the job. Many introductory quant roles don't require you to know this before your first role. You typically learn these on the job and you won't typically be quizzed on them in interviews. And be warned, if you're a total beginner and you're learning these topics, don't think you'll be full-time traders. As you know, most traders who think they can beat the market lose and you probably can't beat the market. Now, the video won't go over these topics too much as they're not emphasized in the quant interview, but if you want a full video going over these, drop a like and a comment. Degree and schooling. How important is it and how much should you focus on it? Depending on the type of quant you want to focus on, it's important to choose a career that matches. Generally, you want to be a mathematics degree to get basic understanding with specializations in topics such as computer science, data science, statistics and probability is a great one, actuarial science, and combinatorics to name a few. Basically, you want to have a strong foundation in mathematics regardless of the type of quant role you want to get. Now, some people worry about whether the type of university affects the quant roles they'll be able to get. I've seen people from small schools and large schools get into high frequency training firms as some of the top firms like James Street and Citadel is really important to show how you stand out and whether that be through your school or through your projects and your competitions, regardless of how you stand out, you can always get quant roles. Now onto companies and internships. Top companies are companies like Citadel, Hudson River Trading, Acuna Capital, IMC Trading, and there's a lot more, but they all have applications for internships continuously available along with smaller competitions and programs to help foster talent. Like I was saying before, if you don't go to a target school, these competitions are perfect to make yourself stand out in the application process. Keeping an eye out for these can really help you stand out against the competition. And don't forget, there are many smaller firms all around the world that can offer a great experience and help you get your foot into the door for quant finance. So don't be blindsided by the big names and make sure to get experience when you can. Furthermore, don't let prestige blind you. Even a small quant position helps and quant firms love it when you have any relevant experience. In general, quant finance is an extremely rewarding path to take with huge upsides, although there's a lot of hurdles you can pass through. Give it your best shot and don't give up and you can possibly enter the world of quant finance. Also, don't forget to check out QuantQuestions.io, the leading quant interview question platform to help you in your prep. Most of the questions on the site are free, and if you enjoy the content, check out Premium and really prep for your next quant interview. Thank you guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.